Welcome to Pedersen Modeling. Today we're building a freestanding coat rack, also known as a coat tree. Uh, it'll be about six feet tall. I'll have some hooks on the top, some hooks in the middle, and some nice fancy legs on the bottom. Let's get started. Uh, but let's get caught up. Okay. I cut out all my templates, all my figures uh, at my bandsaw. Again, if you don't have a bandsaw, a jigsaw works just as well. And then I went over to my spindle sander and I did most of the sanding on the uh, sides. And then after that, I went to my router and I used a uh, quarter inch uh, roundover bit and I did a roundover on all the uh, uh, on all four corners of every single one of them. Uh, and then after that, I did some more sanding with my palm sander and just cleaned up all the rough edges left by the router uh, and the sides and the, you know, the, the fronts or the faces. So everything looks really clean, really in really good conditions. It's as if I bought these at the store. Now, what I've also uh, done I've gone ahead and I've marked uh, on every single one, one of my pieces. Can you see the lines right there? Right there, uh, the marks, I've ran marks across. Oh, I'm missing one. Anyway, I've, I've gone ahead and ran, run marks across uh, the, every single uh, piece, I've lined it up, I've lined them up, uh, I've squared them up, lined them up, and then I made uh, uh, two marks at inch and a half spacing. Uh, and what that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be the distance for my dowels, okay? Um, uh, these uh, are all gonna go together uh, with dowels and no screws, just dowels and glue. And that's gonna, uh, that's gonna be it. So again, I've marked the height or I've marked the distance for my dowels. The only thing that I would probably need to mark right now uh, would be the center for every single one of my pieces. But for that, I would also need to mark the center of my stock that's gonna be going, uh, or you know, the, the upright. And that's what I'm working on next. As a matter of fact, I'm not working on the dowels just yet. I'm actually working on joining these two pieces together. My upright is going to be composed of two 36 inch um, boards. And the way they're going to go together is with a mortise and tenon joint, just like this. The female right here is my mortise. This right here is the mortise. And this right here is your tenon. Okay. Again, uh, mortise, or I'm sorry, mortise and tenon. Okay. Now, what's gonna what's gonna be neat about this, though, uh, I'm worried about this coming apart with it with time. Again, I'm not using any screws or anything. So, what I'm going to do is after I lock it in place, I'm gonna uh, I went ahead and I marked uh, spacings for dowels. Uh, that it's gonna keep the the, the tenon in uh, the joint in place and of course prevent from it uh, opening up I've gone ahead and offset one of the uh, the distance from the edge to one to this side at uh, 1 32nd what's what that is gonna cause is when I put the tenon together and I'm driving the the dowel in it's actually gonna compress it even tighter uh, on its own and then of course that's going to lock it in place so as you can see i already cut most of this off i just need to uh, trim it uh, with my um, chisel and now i'm going to cut this off and fit for size Okay, next I'm gonna mark my legs. I'm going to mark uh, the first set of dowels, this one right here, and that's gonna be at six inches from the bottom of the base up. 
uh, more or less somewhere right there. And again, this is going to be uh, in the air. Uh, uh, these are going to be holding it down. Uh, six and then uh, six up from the center. Okay, so that's six and then inch and a half up, that'll be seven and a half. Okay, now I'm going to mark the top side for my uh, top hooks. I'm just choosing whatever measurement I think looks better. I'm not going by any set of uh, plans or anything. Okay, the first bowel is gonna go at um, four and a half from the bottom, I'm sorry, from the top down. And then I'm going to mark uh, another inch and a half down. Okay, I've gone around. From the middle, the middle ones, or the small ones at the middle, are gonna go somewhere like uh, here. So my first measurement is going to be, or well, you know what? I'll just use that six inches. I'll use the same thing. Four and a half. And six inches is gonna be this good size so okay so first I'll mark my six inches and since I already have my ruler set to that I'll mark my six inches and then I'm gonna go back down to four and a half Okay, that's the height of my dowels. Okay. Now I need to find my center for this. This is uh, less than two and a half. And to find that, I'm just gonna play with this for a while until I think I get it close as, as close as possible. Yep, that'll work.
good. All my dowels are marked. Now I need to mark the center for all my pieces. All my dowels are drilled and I've got them cut and ready to go. Now it's time for assembly. Where do I start? <laughs> This right here is why mortise and tenon joints are so effective. You get a lot, a lot of gluing area.
That thing looks amazing. All the uh, dowels are in place. Everything is tight together. I used uh, some tying wire uh, for to keep that just because it's going to be very awkward to use clamps. I'm gonna let that cure overnight and uh, tomorrow I'm just going to touch it up, clean it up some more um, and then prime it and paint it and ready for pickup. Wonderful day of work. I love it. Have a good night.